before we start, I'd just like to inform you that now we have a Discord server. You can find the link in the description. Anyways, let's start the video. Today we'll be making some fuming nitric acid. Disclaimer, this video was made for educational purposes only. To make nitric acid, you need sulfuric acid and a nitrated salt. It doesn't matter what one you use, just you have to add the ratios to properly accommodate for it. I use potassium nitrate, KNO3, with the 99% purity and 96% sulfuric acid. Anyway, to start distilling, I cranked up the heat to max and also turned on stirring to max. Those red fumes and yellow fumes that you're stirring are actually NO2 gas, which is being produced from the nitric acid. The nitrogen dioxide gas that you're seeing that is being produced is actually very much not good for your life and living expectancy. So do not breathe it in and always do this in a well-opened and ventilated area. Though another note on this topic is that you should lube up your joints with sulfuric acid instead of normal grease. As you can see, that's our nitric acid, which has just been distilled, and it's in this lovely round beaker. My extraction yield was nearly ideal, with a nearly 100% extraction, with 49.8 milliliters of extracted liquid. Anyway, let's get on with some experiments. For the first experiments, we're going to do be comparing acetone to acetone with nitric acid. First, here's the acetone without any nitric acid. As you can see, it makes a normal orange flame, sort of yellow color. And here's me lighting some acetone with some nitric acid. The camera doesn't capture it very well, but there is a sort of white yellowish color going on. But soon stuff is going to go quite bad since we're going to start with a runaway reaction which is extremely toxic and creates tons and tons of fumes. And so obviously it started running away since it's extremely scary and also very bad for your health. I added some concentrated nitric acid to the magnesium and as you can see created a big cloud of smoke. Again, do this in a well-ventilated area. These fumes are extremely toxic and terrible for your life if you want to breathe this in. Anyway, so let's slide the magnesium nitrate. As you can see, it's heaps more dangerous than normal magnesium powder, even though that already is quite reactive and quite dangerous. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. If you didn't, then dislike the video. Uh, I have lots of other projects to do with this nitric acid like TNT from Toluene and tons and tons of cool nitration projects which I want to do. Though I'm not sure when I will do them since I don't have much time right now. Also, go check out uh, Mr. Yellow's video on his cubing project. It's so cool that he's actually being able to do this. And for example, Explosions and Fire hasn't been able to make it in like two months that he's been doing it. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. So, bye!